Nifar had a very serious problem. You see, the royal family was getting on in years, and they had yet to produce an heir to the throne. What I mean is, they couldn't have kids. That's the king with the beard. Oh, they tried everything to have a baby. <laughs> Then, one day, their prayers were answered, and they were blessed with a beautiful baby boy, whom they quickly dubbed Prince Ahmed Abadalu. <laughs> Baby for short. Now, it so happened that across the kingdom lived a simple peasant couple who were in a very similar situation. Oh, oh well, anyway, after years of trying and praying without results, they too were blessed with a beautiful baby. Uh, a pumpkin, <laughs> whom they named Violet. Don't ask me why. Uh, honey, I think you should be spending a little less time in the garden. Well, the years flew by so quickly, and it seemed as if the two uh, uh, well, kids <laughs> had grown up overnight. <laughs> The prince had become a very handsome, talented young man who had the best of everything, including the hearts of his subjects, especially those interested in becoming Mrs. Prince Abadalu. Oh, but the young prince dated no one. You see, the prince was waiting for true love. Now, it just so happened that this was no ordinary pumpkin, you see. One night a month, during the full moon, a magical moonbeam would come down and bring the beautiful young woman that lived within the pumpkin out of her shell. <laughs> And after spending a month inside her shell, she was hungry. <laughs> he wondered why he had never seen this beautiful young woman before. He rushed to meet her. And they fell instantly in love, just like in fairy tales. At first, the couple met just once a month, but soon it wasn't enough, and they began seeing one another more and more until it was almost every day, <laughs> sometimes on chaperone. <laughs> it wasn't long before the prince popped the question and asked the pumpkin to marry him. The pumpkin had never dreamed that this could all happen to a farm girl like her, and she was ecstatic. Well, uh, uh, for a pumpkin. <laughs> The big day 
came, and it was without a doubt a wedding no one would ever forget. to be ruled by a lunatic that was in love with a vegetable. The prince was given the choice of giving up his kingdom or giving up his pumpkin. Though saddened, the prince made the only decision he knew would make him happy. The night of the wedding, a single moonbeam had come down and brought the would-be princess out of her shell for the last time. For true love had broken the spell once and for all. And so, the prince and his pumpkin lived happily ever after. Good night, my prince. Good night, my pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs>